Elevate Phoenix is a nonprofit whose program teaches the skills and character qualities to urban high school and elementary kids. They are able to keep these kids um, going with events like the Elevate Phoenix Gala and mm -hmm. Golf Tournament with Tom Lehman hosting. And we're sitting here yeah. talking. <laughs> Listen, people, I'm going to tell you right now. I get this call from Tom. Tom's like, Brad, you know what? You were there last year. What'd you think? I go, just amazing. It'd be great. I mean, I really want to be a part of it. It's like, all right, well, you're hosting. I go, I am? <laughs> he goes, yeah, you're hosting this year. I go, okay, all right, I'm in. And then he sends the Jaybirds. And these are the ladies who are behind Elevate, Elevate yeah. um, Phoenix. And the reason why I say that uh, they are the Jaybirds because they are so passionate about this. Yes, they You've are. You've been involved. You got me involved. Now I'm stuck there. But that's what <laughs> happens when you attend this gala. Yeah. And we find out about Elevate Phoenix. Yeah. You are there because of what this program does for our kids here in the community. And, and you've yeah. been involved now for how long? Well, since the very beginning, about 15 years now, or yeah. thereabouts. Um, yeah, you know, it's a, it reaches into the, the, you know, the urban schools. You know, it's an embedded program in the schools. These at-risk kids, disadvantaged kids lacking opportunity kids however you want to phrase it you know it just it reaches into these schools where these kids are and helps to kind of pull them out of a very hopeless situation most often and in, in, into a situation yeah. where there's success for the future yeah and, and when you meet these kids they are hungry to have mentors they're yeah. not the kids that are just sitting back going whatever yeah yeah they're out looking for this and that's yeah. what's so great about this program is that yeah. you get the mentors for them you help them for life skills, you help mm. them with financial skills, college skills. Mm. What's really amazing is that some of these kids are the first generations to actually finish high school, and then you have some that go on to college or on to jobs that mm -hmm. you know they weren't able to do as families. Yeah, well, so, yeah, you're right because it's really kind of hard to imagine that in 2022 that that a person could say I'm the first one in my family to graduate from high school. I mean, that seems like a foreign thing, but very often the case and then to go into college is just you know forget about it you know yeah. so that these kids are they're just you know it's just they don't think they can do it they so they don't even try yeah you know but then they realize they can do it and then they give you all they got and they, and they are big achievers yeah what i like about what you do you're giving back to the community here you being the amazing golf icon you are mm. but you're teaching them a skill about golf and that it's not just a game it's actually building confidence friendship and mm. business yeah. relations too yeah. which I think are, and that's what these mentors come in there's yeah. different ones that you have from yeah. all over the valley and celebrities yeah. that are coming to help oh, too yeah. yeah yeah we have a, a great group of people who really I would say this is that the people who are involved will tell you they're involved because I feel like it's their life's mission and and they just they just want to reach down and give a hand up and uh, you know you just you just give them a hand up until that point where these kids can be off and running on their own and, and I think that's really the secret yeah, uh, we were talking to the Jaybirds, which are with yeah. the, the, so if you wonder what the Jaybirds are, they are they are go-getters, the <laughs> Jaybirds. They, they are. They when you, listen, you want to be a part of this, and they get you hooked. You're in. Like I said, Tom's like your MC. I'm like, okay, Tom, I will. And then they got a hold of me, and I'm in for life for them. Yeah. That's what happens here. Um, and so this is what we have. The gala's yeah. coming up yeah. in a couple of weeks. Yeah. I just got heard. There's only a few spots left. Yeah. for golf and for dinner, but there's always ways to give. But yeah. let's talk about the gala dinner because it's the yeah. night uh, before, yeah. uh, Sunday night. November 20th, yep. Yep. And so and this is a great time. You have a special guest coming in to talk. Yeah, we've had some really great guests. Uh, David Faraday was there one year. We've had, you know, Jonathan Cain from Journey was there one year. This year we have Rick Riley, you know, the world famous, you know, 15-time sports writer of the year. He's coming to tell he, all of his stories, and his stories are great because the, they'll make you laugh, they make you cry. I mean, he's just a really interesting and funny guy and a dear friend of mine. So he'll be there this year along with you. Yes. So, um, you know, we just uh, kind of just we will do it right that night, raise yeah. a bunch of money, and then golf the next day in the morning Yeah. and uh, and have some fun. Yep, and you have a lot of celebrities that come out from Charles Barkley to Jeremy Roenick yeah. to actors and celebrities yeah. all over that come yeah. to be a part of this. So yeah. it's great to get involved, but the, the big part, the reason why I'm involved is those kids and the turn rate that you guys have done to getting those kids to graduation, yeah. to getting them into college, and to yeah. just get them on, on onto the right track, and that's yeah. the important thing about Elevate uh, yeah. Phoenix. Well, there's a demographic, you know, that that about 50 percent or just under 50 percent of the kids in certain parts of Phoenix graduate from high school. That's the average, okay? And we're the program is given those kids who are the most at risk of that group. So who knows what that graduation rate is, but all I know is this, is that 98% of the kids in the program graduate from high school and, and, and go on to some kind of either college, a job, the military, or something, but they, uh, it's a success story. Yeah, it is, it's great. Um, you can go to elevatephoenix.org.
org yep. uh, to find out information about the event, or you can, of course, um, go and give, either one, if you mm -hmm. can't, and to help out. It's amazing. Looking for mentors, looking for mm -hmm. being a part of it. Tom gives up his time because you're busy this week. This is amazing. He mm -hmm. stops in here when he should be down at the Phoenix Country Club right now for the big Charles Schwab tournament yep. going on this week. Yeah, year-end event. You know, I'm not actually playing, so I, I, I'm kind of getting my feet up watching <laughs> on TV. <laughs> yeah. uh, I had some surgery. I've been out for a while, but yeah, this is the week. You know, they, the, the whole thing wraps up, and to me, the story is that this guy named Bernard Langer, who is 65 years old, just won again last week, and he's back in the mix to win the Schwab Championship once again. Um, what, what a story he is, and to go along with the Ernie Elses of the world, and and of course Mickelson will not be here to defend and. Um, that's another story in yeah. and of itself, but uh, it'll be a great week at Phoenix Country Club. I know, I, know I gotta wrap it up. I do, I, come, I, come on, I got Tom Lehman here. I just gotta yeah. ask. And everybody's wondering, will Tiger be joining the uh, senior tour? Will he be getting out there? Do you know yet? Well, I will tell you one quick story that, that Stricker and a bunch of guys were talking about whether Tiger would play, and so they actually called him and they said, well, would, you, would you be in favor of, of uh, changing the rules for entry to 45 rather than 50? And he says no, because all the records begin at 50. <laughs> Which is Tiger speak for like you know I've I've got every other record I want to get that one too. Ooh, I like it. Yeah, so yeah. Tom, I'm glad you came in. Yeah, so me too. I will, Thanks, Brad. This is gonna be awesome. Elevate uh, Phoenix, Jaybirds, ladies. Yeah. We're there. You got to be there. So mm -hmm. it's awesome. We own you. So, thank you. <laughs>